Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom and Joyrider. Thanks for joining us on Ludicrous Speed. We're at Westfield Warringah Mall today charging Joy's Tesla Model 3. Now several of you have asked me whether it's worth installing a three-phase charger at home and today we're going to find out whether it's worth doing that to see what the charging speeds are like. Alright, let's go inside the car. Alright, so currently it's charging at 16 amps. That little three there is uh, three phase, charging at 12 kilowatts. So that's the maximum charging speed for AC charging uh, for Model 3, and that's what you'd get if you were to install a three phase charger at home. So I've shot this little segment just on the same night when I've gone home to charge the car. So as you can see here, I've tried to replicate single phase at 32 amps. I've got a 40 amp charger, that's because it's a first generation charger for my Model S. But for current Model 3 owners, you'll only get 32 amps with that new wall charger. At single phase, it's charging at about 45 kilometers an hour. I'm going to flick it back to energy to see how many kilowatts that is. Okay, so single phase 32 amps is 7 kilowatts at about 45 kilometers an hour. You might recall from Warringah Mall, it was 12 kilowatts at three phase. So that will get you about 65 to 70 kilometers an hour. Now you might be asking, three phase, shouldn't that be 22 kilowatts? Well, the maximum charging rate for the Model 3 in Australia is 11 to 12 kilowatts. So I guess it's up to you guys whether you want to change your house to three phase to utilize that extra charging speed between single phase at about 45 kilometers an hour to three phase, which is about 65 to 70 kilometers an hour. It really boils down to how much you drive every day and whether you need that extra charging speed for your Model 3. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And as always, happy charging. <laughs>